Hillary Clinton's legal saga surrounding her improper use of private email servers as Secretary of State may be over, but the political battle is just heating up. I just heard the news because it just happened, as you know, with the Attorney General of the United States saying, no problem. Crooked Hillary, crooked, so crooked. She made so many false statements. Is something going to happen? Because it's a disgrace. Donald Trump comes out swinging after learning that Attorney General Loretta Lynch will not press criminal charges against Hillary Clinton. I said bad judgment. She's incompetent. Accusing the former Secretary of State Ann Lynch of collusion. She said she's going to reappoint the Attorney General, and the Attorney General is waiting to make a determination as to whether or not she's guilty. That's bribery, folks. Mrs. Clinton making no mention of the controversy for the second day in a row. Instead, hammering Trump over a handful of his bankrupt businesses in New Jersey. What he did here in Atlantic City is exactly what he will do if he wins in November. Speaking in Cincinnati, Trump launching a full-throated attack against the media. I watched these Media people, very dishonest people. When people treat you unfairly, just turn your back and go someplace else. Or knock them on their ass. Insisting that an image he posted and deleted of Clinton on a six-pointed star, backdrop by $100 bills, was not meant to promote Jewish stereotypes. When I really looked, it looked like a sheriff's star. But CNN started this dialogue going, it's the star of David. And because it's the star of David, Donald Trump has racist tenants. These people are sick. But the same image was posted days earlier on a white supremacist message board, and critics argue it evokes anti-Semitic sentiment. The de facto GOP nominee also revealing his pick for a key player in his administration should he win the election. I can tell you, in one form or another, Newt Gingrich is going to be involved with our government. He's smart, he's tough, he gets it. And he says, I'm the biggest thing he's ever seen in the history of politics. And Trump's campaign also announced a more than $50 million fundraising haul for the month of June. It is his first month of aggressive fundraising heading into the general election. The campaign reports that more than $25 million went to the RNC and other Republican groups. Live in the newsroom, I'm John Finolio. We'll send it back to you.